What's going on, y'all? It's Dias, and I'm ready to open up a big fat can of whoop ass right here. And Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, we are back. Last time we left off, fucking Liquid took Sahelanthropus. We found out that Liquid might not actually be Liquid, or might not actually be an exact clone of Big Boss. Well, they kind of say that in the later Metal Gear games as well. But still, I thought that would be a not-so-surprising reveal that Liquid was Big Boss's clone, but apparently we got swerved. Alright, so we got some successful combat deployment missions coming in here. We're losing a couple of staff members, which is no bueno, but we are getting some successes. Alright, so let's see what we're looking at right here as far as development. First, I'm going to quickly rearrange my staff, get my combat unit looking sexy. Staff assigned. And now, let's take a look at our development because we're sitting on 1.2 million. Please specify a project. We got an unlimited durability suppressor for the Wu tranquilizer sniper tranquilizer pistol rather we also got that shotgun for the security team and that's pretty much it as far as what I'm looking to develop right now actually let's check out our base facilities we still need to get some base facilities constructed for our FOB to try to max that out we still need 2 million to complete the command platform for this FOB, but we still got three other platforms that we just need fuel resources and common metals for. And we do have a bunch of PF grade points, so let's try to cash those in real quick for some common metals and some fuel resources. We'll get some construction going on a couple of platforms and then we'll keep it moving. I think we'll have enough GMP to get too many platforms developed at once. So we'll get one platform constructed and then we'll uh, continue to get some GMP. Hopefully we'll have enough resources. to get all the platforms constructed eventually. Alright, so that's a bunch of PF points exchanged. Let's see which base facilities we can get constructed real quick. We should have at least enough for one that is the support platform. We don't have enough fuel resources for either the combat unit platform or the medical platform. Pretty close though, pretty close though. Alright, let's get the... Uh, Let's get the support team. Approaching. Let's finish that platform. Commencing platform construction. We also need fuel resources and biological material. I, I've never really too short on biological material. I think that's the first time that that that, that has happened. But let's see what else we're looking at right now. So we're short on pretty much everything. We need a whole lot of uh, common metal. Not too many fuel resources now. So let's uh, exchange a couple more PF grade points. We'll uh, exchange for fuel resources maybe three or four times. And that should be enough and then spend the rest on common metal and then see where we're at at that point. Might be enough to construct one platform the combat unit platform or we might be short on some common metal but I think we have enough fuel resources for both the medical platform and the combat unit platform we might just be lacking on common metal or biological materials so we've exchanged all of our PF points let's see what's good right here on the base facilities even if I do have enough Alright, so I didn't have enough common metals. Still need a whole lot more. 
and we still need a whole lot more biological materials and we also need more GMP so we're stuck right here base construction will have to come to an end so let's get started though we'd have another main op but we don't well we have new unimportant main ops but no important main ops All of these are repeats of missions I've already done. Hell of a payout on a lot of these missions. But we are going to, uh, we're going to check out this side ops list to see. We got some new important side ops right here. We, we got a couple of wandering puppets missions. Those pay out very well. Let's see if we have any wandering mother base soldier missions. Yeah, we do. 300,000. Holy shit. Let's get our boy back. Please select a landing zone. Heading to Afghanistan. said that last time, Kaz, but, but the updated mission list just has repeating missions. Let me just take another look at it. Well, I guess I'll take another look at it on the ground. Our boy is somewhere over here, or maybe not. Fucking wrong, he's right here. God damn it. I'm not trying to tear him up with that. I'm just trying to get our boy back. Be careful down there, Shield and everything. He's ready for combat. Boss? Is that you? Nine years. Nine years I've been waiting. One of the guys out on a mission at the time. He's fallen a long way from the glory days. But uh, will he come back to us? Bring him home, boss. He's coming too. Roger that. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Alright, so our boy Rat is back in the unit. Hit that boy with a contract. Boy got a big ass nose, I will say that. But it's good to see you back, Rat. Pretty much done here. Don't see anything else nearby that I need to do. And there is no quick travel points at these ruins, so. Roger. It's called Pequod Fact. Have him pick us up. Arriving shortly at LZ. This is Pequot. Have arrived at LZ. 
Alright, so we got some more African peaches. But completing 50% of the side ops. Still got a long ways to go. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Boss, your heroic deeds appear to have earned the respect of other PFs. Now you'll be able to infiltrate rival PFs' FOBs without having to worry about their nuclear deterrent. Go get one over on these guys who've escaped retaliation thanks to their nukes. So I guess my heroism is at a level that's high enough that I can infiltrate FOBs without a nuke. Even with nukes, rather, excuse me. Before, I was not able to infiltrate people with nukes. I remember seeing that tip in one of the loading screens. But now there is a nuclear option for me to uh, attack suckers to have nukes. That's gonna happen sometime in the future. But right now we're kinda worrying about knocking out some of these side ops. We also have a new FOB event. We got some new rewards to claim. Base colors, weapon colors, uniforms, and this dirty motherfucker to put on your emblem, which I damn sure am not gonna do, but uh, that'll come in due time as well. Let's try to continue to knock out some of these new side ops that we have unlocked. We don't have any important main ops or side ops, so maybe they will pop up as we continue to work through this list. We don't have any more wandering mother base soldier missions. We got a prisoner extraction and Spook may keep. And we got the well paying eliminate the wandering puppets mission. So we're going to do these two real quick. Please select a landing zone. I can actually travel from the Shaco Calais straight to Spook Keep and knock out that prisoner extraction. But with these wandering puppet soldier missions, or rather these eliminate the puppet soldier missions. I said it right the first time. Anyway, with these missions, you can really just deploy straight into the outposts or guard posts where they're placed and not worry about combat alerts or whatever, whatever. These suckers are completely gone. Just wander around like a bunch of dumbasses. There goes a couple of them. You ain't got no skills whatsoever, huh, sucker? Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Oh, you got some skills. And these guys will have increases in their their base skills because of the service cross that they get once we extract them. So I think it'll pay for me to extract a couple of these guys here. Unless, of course, they are. Down there, Dirty. No good. Trouble on us. Alright, so let's steal some stuff while we're here. Wow, 
fight is just watching our back. Making sure no suckers run up on us while we deal with these on five fools. Boy really only got an A rank. He ain't all that. Oh, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? You slapping? You missing, sucker? You taking naps. Remember there's some diamonds up in here, maybe. Can't remember the last time I came up in this spot, but it doesn't look like they have respawn. Damn, you are up. Take your whack ass and nap. Even if he goes up a grade, he's only gonna be like a what A rank. You don't want your whack ass. And he got the skills that pay the bills. He's coming too. Roger that. You got some skills though. Back up, sucker. Don't get too happy with it. Don't get too happy with it. That boy with that A plus plus rank, he might uh, he might rank up into a S rank, so that might be good. Bet not. Bet not focus your bitch ass fire on my chopper. That should still get him. I don't hear any bullets, so I think it did get him. Look at this sucker with his helmet on. Thinks he's cute. You ain't cute. Get your ass beat. Thank you, nap, punk. Oh, you gonna get up? You ain't getting up. Taking your nap. You have arrived at your destination. Somebody's still bussing. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Alright, you gonna shoot up my goddamn helicopter like I ain't gonna come out there and fuck you up. You don't know me very well, do you? Pequod is cutting somebody up. Support I was gonna run out there and bust arrived. ass, but ain't nobody alive out there. Pequod did the damn thing. All right, Pequod, I see you, baby. Fucking shit up. Diamonds glittering off in the distance. I will definitely grab those. Take that little GMP. We still have not cleared the side off. I think there might be some guys in the lower level of this building right here in this outpost. Let me grab this mortar and then try to finish this mission off. There you go, sucker. Y'all hiding from me? Analysis complete. This is on drugs? What are you doing? He definitely on drugs. He don't even see me coming. He don't even see me coming. I'm gonna flip your ass. I don't right on the coffee table. Like getting kicked? Like getting kidnapped? That diamond spot. I remember that diamond spot. There's another sucker up in here. You got the skills? You got the skills, sucker? You got some skills. Oh, how the fuck did I miss that? Alright, let's grab this boy and get the hell up out of here. I think this is the last guy. You have arrived at your destination. Side op complete. Side ops list updated. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Extraction arrived at Metabase. Now, so those boys are getting those service crosses and increasing their parameters. Let's get the hell up out of here now. We're good. Oh, actually, I said I was going to go to um, Super Make Heat. Probably don't even need to take my Jeep there. That's why I was trying to go or run towards the, whatchamacallit, towards my Jeep. But we can just take the 
quick travel point. Actually, there is no quick travel point in this bookmaking. I'm a dumbass. I wish there was a quick travel that you could use for a helicopter. Just like you can quick travel from platform to platform at Mother Base. I was gonna dismiss him, but I haven't picked me up from the nearby landing zone at Spookney Cave. Roger. Send quiet to scout out Spook May Keep as well. And then when I get there, everything should be lit up for me. Then it's just a matter of kidnapping suckers and completing that mission. I want to put on Hall of Notes so badly, but I don't want to get a copyright strike from my video, so we'll go with uh, a little snake eater. That's a hell of an ending to the Snake Eater theme song. My expression target is a no show. Cannot risk waiting any longer. I gotta pull out for now. Select a landing zone. Landing zone is Roger. Returning to target marker. This is Pequot. Have arrived at LZ. We'll stand by. Support helicopter has arrived. Was there a guy over here? That I didn't see that quiet just ricocheted that grenade to because I damn sure don't know where she shot that shit at. Let's grab this prisoner. You grab these two decently skilled suckers. Or maybe not. Okay, subject is in. 
Side ops list updated. You gonna extract him? Extraction arrived at Mother Base. We have an emergency. There's been another outbreak of the vocal cord parasites on the base. Several men are dead. It started in the laboratory on the quarantine platform where the radiation leak occurred. I'd only just deployed the security team. I've sent in a rescue team to help, but they haven't returned. Boss, I need you on this. Come back to Mother Base ASAP. Give the order and I'll, I'll go alone. Boss, what are you... There's no need for that. We can't afford to lose anyone else. We have no idea what's going on exactly. in there. Exactly. Anyone still alive is at their breaking point. Last thing we need is another unit storming in. No telling how they'd react. Fine. First off, check how much the infection has spread. Rescue comes next, after we know the situation. When you're ready to move, just use the iDroid. have uh, another unfortunate outbreak at the vocal cord parasites we're gonna get straight into this mission we gotta make sure we minimize the impact that this outbreak is gonna have on our unit Please let's get this mission started mission. as soon as possible what the fuck is it at there we go let's play the briefing tape boss we have another outbreak of the vocal cord parasite inside the quarantine platforms laboratory several men are dead it began after we discovered that radiation leak in the facility's research block. I dispatched the security team to seal off the source and moved the researchers to the containment block next to it. That's when they discovered the outbreak. I immediately sealed the laboratory and sent a Mop 3 rescue team, but they haven't returned and comms are dead. We have no idea why the parasite has showed up again. I thought we took care of it. I'd like to get any asymptomatic personnel out of there, but we can't tell who's infectious and who's not. We need more information, like how to tell the two apart. Find out what's going on, boss. Alright, let's get this mission started. situation again we've got another parasite outbreak in the laboratory on the quarantine platform what is this no idea Sealed all the X 
exits to keep it from spreading. No one's getting out. One of the researchers inside managed to isolate the parasite behind the outbreak. He faxed over his findings. Code Talker's analyzing them now. Why this new outbreak, despite our inoculation? This is still unclear. Introducing the Wolbachia to the infected prevented symptoms during the last epidemic. The parasites lodge in the victim's throat, forming a mating pair. But the Wolbachia turns the male to female. Two females can neither copulate nor lay eggs. That's why the rescue team went in with more Wolbachia. But the outbreak still isn't under control. They should not be capable of laying eggs. Yet, we have a new outbreak. And the Wolbachia have no effect. I pray this is not some new strain. If it is, then someone may have brought it here. Liquid. There's a spy running around. For now, we must focus on discerning the outbreak mechanism. The cases show another alarming new development. It is now even more difficult to tell who is infected. The eggs propagate out of sight. No external symptoms. One who appears healthy may be dying on the inside. What the hell happened in there? Boss, I still can't raise the rescue team I sent in. We know how to proceed if we just knew how to ID the symptoms. Finding that out is part of your job in there. This has to have something to do with liquid in that vial that Psycho Manus gave him. There's no intel radio for this, so let's just get this mission started. Hang on, Snake. We've just had a transmission from inside. Here's the audio. Where's it coming from? Unknown. It cut off before we could get a fix. It all makes sense. You think he means the parasite? No way to know. But right now, that's all we've got. Hopefully he can tell us something. We'll have to close the tent behind you, boss. Don't think the infection's airborne, but... Find a source of that transmission, boss. Find our man. You never know. What is it? Something sweet. I can smell it even through the mask. The rescue team reported that too. Said it smelled like ripe fruit. We cannot allow the infection to spread. If anyone shows symptoms, you must put them out of their misery. That includes me.
died. What? Stay back! Stay back! What the fuck? He's got a mask. He's with a rescue team. And a guy from before. Why did he shoot him? Was that more of the message? We'll try to clean it up. I suppose. I can't do it. I couldn't do that. Staff member has died. What is happening here? Don't do that! Staff member has died. to help these men. I have analyzed part of the data that was faxed out. It appears even those who barely spoke became symptomatic. This must be some kind of mutation.
both died. What are you doing? <laughs> Who's firing in here? This guy was a part of the rescue team. Or he might have been infected and they shot him. God, I don't know what's happening here. What the hell happened? Oh. At least you're okay. What's going on? I win. I'm no snail. Damn it. Send the transmission. Seems like he had a way of IDing who's symptomatic. But what was he trying to say? Snail. Yes, of course. It all makes sense now. Do not let anyone showing symptoms get outside. As infection progresses, it triggers an overwhelming urge to get out in the open. That's the parasite controlling them. Once outside, the birds will feed on infected bodies, spreading the parasite on land. Torch the place. 
member has died. Staff member has died. That's it. That's good. You still have those goggles. If you see a glow in someone's throat, that means they are infected. And all you can do is give them a quick death. died. He's infected. Kill him, boss. We can't save him now. Shut 
Mel said we're a family! Or was it all lies? Survivor, unlock the door.
There's nothing we could have done for them. We're all grateful, boss. It's your fault! They're dead because of you! What? He's right. I killed them with my own hands. They were on your side! I'm on your side! And you turned them all to ashes! They wanted you to shoot. It was that or be burned alive. Come on. Let's get this over with. Wait. Scatter your sorrow to the heartless sea. them at sea. What then? We'll make diamonds from their ashes. Take them into battle with us. A shining light to our brothers in arms. Even in death. I don't know how you do it. I... All I could do was obsess over revenge. Doubting my comrades along the way. But even after all we've accomplished, the phantom pain never let up. If anything, it just got worse. But you understood that from the start, didn't you? From the moment you opened your eyes in that hospital, you knew it wouldn't go away. That you've been fighting the pain and confronting your phantoms the whole time. Knowing full well the battle would never end, not till the day you die. I respect that now, more than ever. It's an honor and a privilege, Big Boss. So I am. Um... <clears throat> I, um, that was a hard mission. I don't think I said one word the entire time. Um, 
That was, that was really difficult. That was really difficult to do. You see the kind of man that Big Boss is. And the fact that he was trying so hard to protect his soldiers. And he didn't want to send them into that quarantine platform. So he decided to go himself. And then he had to execute his soldiers. Not just one, not just two. A whole hell of a lot of his soldiers. To save the world. Uh, the, uh, the whole Punish Venom Snake thing is very real. And that's not just a pain that he felt himself. That's a pain that I felt. Because it's not just like those guys that I killed with just random pixels on the screen. A lot of them had their names above their heads. Some of those names I recognized. I remember the part. I remember the mission where I kidnapped them. I remember the time that they volunteered to come Caution. to the unit. Rain approaching. That was a very hard thing to do. That's a very hard mission. And I didn't say anything because I was, uh, admittedly fighting back some tears. And I thought I'd be alright to kind of get the mission done. But at the end, where they were all saluting in that room, and they said, We live and die by your orders. And I was forced to execute an entire room of my men. That really, that really got me. And then just when we thought we was about to get out with at least one survivor, we had to, uh, well, I had to kill him. That was not an easy mission whatsoever. Fuck. So we have some cassette tapes to go over. And they tell us about what happened in the laboratory. And so while I try to recover, we're gonna get some intel on what just happened. Twelve hours after exposure to the blood of a symptomatic colleague, I found myself making my way up the stairs to this room and I am not alone everyone who's infected we've all come up here wanting to get outside I know full well I mustn't leave given the possibility I'm infected yet I can't contain this urge I feel inside me like the alcoholic who tries to make any excuse for one more drink. Every step I took up those stairs filled me with this sense of bliss. I still have all my wits about me. It took no time at all to rewire the electronic lock and open the emergency exit. Then, just as I was about to set foot outside, I finally realized what was going on. This desire for freedom is not my own, but that of the vocal cord parasites inside me. They want the ravens to feed on us, pecking us to death, attracted by these sweet secretions. They have mutated to facilitate this. The sweet smell is powerful enough to attract even a species with such a weak nose. So, before the parasites take complete control, I must. Most of the staff in here are already infected. At least, everyone I've looked at is infection with this parasite causes a high fever in the pharynx i have modified a pair of night vision goggles to react only to this temperature range with these goggles you can identify who is infected other infected will like me 
feel compelled to make it outside. If the ravens get their meal, they'll head for land next. That cannot be allowed to happen. So just as Code Talkers suspected, those are the urges caused by the focal cord parasites. Let's find out a little bit more about what happened in the laboratory. The whole idea of the vocal cord parasites was that they'd only copulate once exposed to a specific language over time. But the parasites infecting our men in the laboratory laid their eggs straight away. The larvae were eating their lung tissue almost immediately. What kind of mutation was it? Those who were infected and cured still carried the vocal cord parasites in their throats. They were still there. But the males had been rendered female by the Bulbachia, and copulation could not occur. So we thought, but it is the Bulbachia that mutated, not the parasites. You remember I told you the Bulbachia attempts to maximize its number of female infected hosts? Yes, hence the male to female transformation. Precisely. But other Bulbachia strains use different methods. Cytoplasmic incompatibility, killing the males, and parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis? Aphids? Aphids use that to reproduce via females only. Very good. The females lay their eggs without a male present, creating clones of themselves in explosive numbers. Parthenogenesis was originally a means for an organism to take maximum advantage of abundant resources by increasing its numbers. Certain strains of Obakia forced this to occur, to create more and more infected females. And that's why our men develop symptoms in the blink of an eye. Obakia causing parthenogenesis is common in parasitic wasps. Of course, the Volbachia I introduced to your men did not have this characteristic. But I believe the mutation, whatever it was, caused it to force parthenogenesis in its host, the vocal cord parasites. The Volbachia we used to prevent egg laying became the agent of limitless reproduction. There's something else. The symptomatic infected in the laboratory all wanted to get outside. Even knowing there was napalm waiting for them out there. You said the parasites made the Mac that way. But parasites controlling humans. Is it possible? Parasites altering the host's behavior is a common occurrence in the world of nature. Long ago, the vocal cord parasites had this ability. But even I never foresaw they might control humans. Until I heard the things your man said. You mean the researcher on the top floor? The bit about, I'm not a snail? Yes. Among parasitic worms, there is a genus called Leucochloridium that uses snails as intermediary hosts. As you know, snails prefer dark, gloomy environments. But once parasitized by leucochloridium, they desire to be in the light. And that is not all. The parasitic worms thrust themselves into the snail's antennae, making them swell to abnormal size. The snail, meanwhile, frantically wiggles its antennae as the parasites squirm inside. The swollen, wriggling antennae soon resemble caterpillars. I don't get it. It is so they can be eaten by birds. Leucochloridium needs a bird as its definitive host to breed. They require their snail host to be snapped up by a predator. So they make the humble snail appear to be a delicious caterpillar and lead it to somewhere in open sight. So you mean the staff trying to get outside was so the birds could pick at them. The parasites altered their mental state, making them crave higher places and to be outdoors. 
I can only surmise that both the Volbachia and the Parasites mutated before the ancestors of the vocal cord parasites infected humans. Their hosts were birds. What we saw in the laboratory was some throwback to that time. The parasites attempting to make birds their intermediary hosts. It sounds insane. A prey mantis that is host to a parasitic hair worm will dive into water and drown itself just so the hair worm can lay its eggs in water. Rats infected with Toxoplasma gondii lose their instinctive caution and run right up to cats. Just some of the many ways parasites control the host. But we're humans. Surely our minds are too complex for that. I thought just the same. Free will is what makes us human, so it never occurred to me that the parasites could be controlling the symptomatic. But the mood, the will of a person can be easily affected by the balance of their cerebral substances. Take the toxoplasma I mentioned. It does infect humans, and it is thought the infected develop a more reckless attitude. <sighs> but to think that mutations occurred in both the Walbachia and its parasite hosts your observation is most apt. Both mutations occurring at once indicates the presence of a powerful mutagen. I see. Keep working on narrowing down what it was. Alright, so we have one more important intel tape to go over. Let's see where that's at. Are you fucking serious? Well, doctor, I have the report on the incident at the quarantine facility. Assuming the vocal cord parasite evolved, I'm sorry, underwent a mutation. The only plausible explanations are exposure to some high concentration mutagen or radiation. As you know, some of the staff at the quarantine facility were infected with the parasites. The Walbachia prevented them from copulating, but the parasites themselves can be removed from their host's vocal cords. Once you're infected with... Skullface's parting gift, you're stuck with it. The researchers regularly used X-ray equipment to monitor the parasites in their throats. No problem there, they kept a close eye on the radiation doses. But that equipment didn't just give off X-rays. It was also emitting beta rays. Even though that's unnecessary for the scans. See, beta rays have far worse effects on DNA than X-rays. Meaning the only logical conclusion is that someone added in a beta ray emitter to trigger a mutation. Those beta rays leaked out from inside the equipment. Because the emitter was retrofitted, the shielding was inadequate. And the person who ordered and inspected the equipment was you, Doctor. That makes you the only person with the opportunity to install that emitter. So now you're saying I sabotage medical equipment for some wild plan to make the vocal cord parasite kill everyone? Or maybe you thought it'd reveal a way to treat the parasite without using the Walbachia. With that much to barter, I suppose some people would welcome even a pathetic cur like you. Just stop it! You'd have no shortage of buyers, but most would be happy with just the parasite. You wouldn't need to offer anything else. However, if that buyer already knew about the parasite, they'd also know that by itself, it's no longer the ultimate bargaining chip it once was. To sell to that buyer, you need to throw in a bonus, a way to one-up it. There's only one buyer who'd be after that. <laughs> Emmerich, we record all communications on Mother Base. That includes radio transmissions to and from homemade devices. You've been in frequent contact with people in America. A private biotech company. A client of which is DARPA. And they are connected to Cypher. You made a deal with Cypher. You offered them a new parasite in exchange for your safety. This is the only place in the world where the vocal cord parasite still exists. 
and you used it as a testing ground. Tried to resurrect their bioweapon. But your plan to obtain the parasite has failed. Your bullshit ends now. I don't think you're leaving here alive. Are you fucking serious? All this time. All this fucking time. Everything that's been happening to us. All the way back in Costa Rica or the Caribbean. Everything that happened to us was this dude Huey's fault. Everything that Kaz suspected of Huey was true. Not only did he destroy the MSF, but he attempted to destroy Diamond Dogs as well. Well. I don't even know what the fuck to think right now. All hell has just broken loose. And the revelations are out of control. The one thing that I will agree with Kaz on, I haven't been necessarily agreeing with him every game, all through the game. Kind of felt that he was justly paranoid, but still kind of out of touch. That's what I thought of Kaz. But it turns out that he was right the entire time about every single thing including Huey the one thing that he will absolutely be right about is the fact that Huey, Huey will not be living alive alright so we do have another cassette tape I don't know what the fuck to think. I went from sadness to complete fucking rage in, a, in too short of a time. I am livid. Let's see, do we have any missions? Can I just execute this motherfucker right now? <laughs> no, we have nothing. Probably gonna have to trigger it through uh, maybe a main op or a side. I don't know what the fuck can do right here. Look at my look at my unit. I used to be maxed out at like four, 1,400 soldiers. Now we're down to 49 men. I cannot believe that. There's no other alternative. But this has just made me sick to my goddamn stomach. I'm gonna call it an end right here. We've been going for a while and uh, I don't know what the fuck to think. I'm gonna need to take a little break. I definitely need to take a break. Ladies and gentlemen, fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you share the video out. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and I will see y'all in the next one.